uh, it's different than uh, the, the previous uh, sessions uh, that uh, we have delivered in the community. This session is not uh, a, a regular session, but it is a discussion panel. This means that uh, uh, we will discuss uh, the topic uh, together between our threesome, uh, Radwan, Abaha, and al uh, as, uh, as well as some of you uh, as well. Uh, 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 in the beginning, I would like to introduce the cloud DevOps uh, visions. Then I will go through how well this session or discussion panel will run. Then we will go uh, through the discussion panel itself. So Cloud DevOps uh, Visions ha has been co-founded by um, three MVPs and one regional director. Uh, the three MVPs are uh, Muhammad Radwan, Muhammad al Qassas, and my humble self, uh, my humble self, Ahmed Baha. Uh, uh, Radwan uh, is a principal DevOps consultant with 17 years experience and 8 years of MVP uh, while al Qassas and he resides in London while al Qassas uh, uh, is a senior uh, consultant and he resides in Riyadh uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with 12 years experience and 3 years MVP. Uh, while I, I uh, am a PhD professor and uh, 25 years plus experience with 14 years MVP and 11 years RD. So uh, I celebrate uh, nowadays uh, the silver jubil of myself uh, for Microsoft with 25 years of uh, awards. Uh, we will um, uh, present ourselves um, uh, later. Um, uh, in fact, Cloud DevOps Vision is a community uh, that has been co-founded uh, with a, a, a main uh, set of objectives. Uh, we will uh, go through these objectives later, but one of the major and main um, objectives is uh, delivering uh, sessions, discussion panels, inviting some uh, Microsoft guest speakers, and uh, going live as uh, this time. Um, someone is opening his uh, mic, and this is the first thing in the code of conduct. So, uh, yes, thank you. Um, 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 our code of conduct is uh, based on responsibility, coaching, innovation, ethics, goals, teamwork, customers, and uh, trusting everybody. So um, uh, the first thing that uh, we would like to highlight is that this session is recorded. So if you don't, would, uh, don't like uh, to be recorded, uh, you are free to withdraw from this session. Now, um, uh, please mute your microphone all the time unless you would like to ask for something at the questions and answers part. And once you uh, finish, please mute your microphone again. Uh, respect everybody of uh, uh, important uh, part of contribution that Microsoft is uh, very well uh, interested in. So let us uh, begin. Uh, uh, my name is Ahmad Baha. I'm a Microsoft Regional Director for Microsoft uh, for uh, the last 11 years, uh, Microsoft MVP for the last 14 uh, years, and uh, uh, in addition uh, to being um, an associate professor uh, in Faculty of Computers and Artificial Intelligence and Principal Technical Consultant uh, in a gold uh, partner, uh, which is CompuFairs. Um, uh, I have 25 plus experience um, uh, in addition to the awards of Microsoft. I have been uh, awarded the Gold uh, Global Impact Award from Microsoft HQ. Um, uh, which has been received 
by very limited number of uh, Microsoft um, uh, experts all over the world. Uh, uh, additionally, I'm fortunate in love to be a member of one of the uh, ISO advisory committees that are uh, responsible of uh, issuing the uh, official ISO Arabic versions of IT standards uh, for instance uh, 27,000 and other uh, kind of ISO uh, standards. I have been fortunate enough to contribute in more than 180 uh, projects all over the world with 290 uh, customers uh, um, all over uh, three continents uh, with many uh, countries all over the world. I have been fortunate to be a reviewer and mentor of multiple books that are being sold over uh, Amazon.com. Uh, Microsoft uh, uh, chose me before as um, a, a, a spotlighted MVP, uh, so uh, I'm uh, featured as a a key global MVP in MVP Spotlight. What is MVP Spotlight? MVP Spotlight is a, a, a place in, uh, in the mvp.microsoft.com uh, website uh, where you could find uh, some MVP highlighted not only to the public but also to uh, the MVP uh, uh, MVPs themselves. Uh, 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 and you could find the interview on my uh, personal page on mvp.microsoft.com. Uh, I had the honor to get invited to speak twice in Microsoft HQ, including uh, the LM uh, Summit uh, that has been held in Microsoft. And I, um, uh, I have spoken in one of the Visual Studio Global Launch Tours uh, before and featured as one of the world uh, best speakers in um, Microsoft MVP uh, blog uh, uh, due to uh, speaking in uh, um, um, four continents uh, before. Uh, my teams uh, um, contributed in world-class projects uh, and I had the honor to be a member in uh, one of the Microsoft uh, Advisory Councils that um, includes, uh, let's say, the top 10 uh, expertise in, in specific, uh, 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 top 10 experts in specific expertise. And uh, uh, I, 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 one of my uh, projects that I have led won the uh, first prize from uh, United Nations and another one uh, from the International Telecommunication uh, Union uh, by the name of Egypt. I have a couple of sessions on Channel 9 and uh, I used to mentor many MVPs and MSPs um, over uh, history for the last 15 years and frequent judge and part uh, of the jury for uh, Microsoft um, uh, 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 contests. Um, and this is my humble self. I would like now to pass the mic to my uh, friend and colleague, Mohammed Radwan, to introduce himself and start telling us about the MVP program. Thank you. OK, thank you, Dr. Baha. Uh, to just give you also for everyone, uh, Dr. Ahmed is uh, my professor, by the way. And so, yes, yeah, so, uh, okay. So let me share my screen um, and please let me know when you can see my screen. Yes, now. Okay, great. Um, thank you everyone. And again, my apologies for what's happened today. It was really, something yeah uh, so sometimes yeah this error happen um to just give you again you know um a quick introduction about myself i think also it's very important because it's part you know who how we can present ourselves as an mvb 
Uh, so my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a principal cloud DevOps with more than 17 years. I have worked in several projects with different customer, participated in the community. I started back in 2002 as a classic SB developer, moved to different tools, technology, relocated in several countries, eventually in the UK, London based. Um, and part of the community, I also have many guides, uh, frameworks, uh, tools, which is published on GitHub and the Azure Marketplace. Uh, I presented many sessions in many events, um, either uh, international or uh, regional uh, conferences in many countries. So I got the chance and the opportunity to work in different project size, company size as well, which gave me different kind of, you know, experience. And for my YouTube and blog, I have hundreds of videos and blog where, you know, you can find more information on my. Uh... So that's me. So let's let me start from the beginning. I thought at the beginning, you know, it just to give you some numbers about the MVP program. Uh, so I will start by giving you, you know, the number of, of the MVP. So the current MVP is around 2080. 850 MVBs worldwide in all technologies area. Again, this number is around. You can because it's it's keep it changing, but this is the around number. Uh, we have 90 countries, so the MVBs is distributed over 90 countries, and we have 11 categories and 95 contribution or technical area to contribute. So this is the main uh, you know uh, categories. And just to give you two examples, the, the largest com, uh, country uh, which has MVBs is the USA, has 498 MVBs. And the second one is the UK with 186 MVBs. Um, the MVB categories, it has 11 categories, as I explained before. So this is the main categories for the MVB. And each category is divided into what we call the contribution areas or technical areas where you contribute inside this category. So for example, this is the first five categories. And as you can see, for example, inside the category, we have different contribution area. So let's, let me take the developer technologies, which is my category. And as you can see, we have here the Azure DevOps. So this is my area where I, I took my MVB which is the Azure DevOps. It was a TFS and Visual Studio Team System before, and now the Azure DevOps. So th this is the contribution area where you choose. And again, some maybe other MVBs in the Xamarin, they are contributing to the Xamarin, and they are under the developer technologies category, but with Xamarin contribution area. Again, you, you can have maybe, for example, in, in the category of the AI, and you contribute to the Azure, uh, Azure Machine Learning, for example. So this is the, the, the rest of the categories, which is cloud data center, enterprise mobility. And as you can see, this is the, the contribution area areas for, for each category. OK, so let's look at how MVBs per country, because this is also explained to you many things like, you know, like the different technologies and the MVBs. So we can see that. So I give you these numbers, which is or uh, order the number of MVBs per each country, um, you know, ordered by the, the largest country first. And as we can see, US, uh, UK, um, and then Japan, Canada, Brazil, uh, Netherlands. And as you can see, this is the number of MVB per, per country. And with this number, it covers the 11 categories and the 95 contribution area for each country. So this is all MVBs. Let me see the other countries. So as you can see, this is the rest of. Uh, so as you can see, there are some countries just has four MVB, three MVB. Also, there is some countries which is just has one MVB. And of course, there is some other countries. They don't even have uh, any MVBs. Um, let's take an example. I, I took the, the Denmark. Uh, it's a lovely country. I spent three years in Denmark. Uh, so. Yes. So, for example, if we search inside the Denmark and the MVB, you will find that the Denmark has 31 MVBs, and this 31 is divided, as we explained, in uh, you know across 11 categories with 95 areas. Okay. 
So if I choose, for example, to, to choose the category for Denmark, we can see now that we just have five MVBs in Denmark in the developer technologies. And, you know, developer technologies has, for example, 17 technical area. So it means that we don't have even one MVB for each technology area. For example, if we search uh, or, or if we're looking at the contribution area, there is zero MVB in Denmark where they are in the Azure DevOps, for example. This is why, you know, it is not like th there is MVB in, in, in each country, like, you know, covering this technology area. It's, it's usually based on, you know, um, benefit of being an MVB. Again, I, I remember I, I spoke with my colleague uh, and fellow MVB, Mohammed al Kassas talking about the benefit. And he, 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 he was saying, like, this is, this is really not reflecting all the benefits. And it's, it's really difficult to, you know, to explain all the benefits because it's a huge benefit. So what I give is very, very small example. So the first benefit of being an MVB is we got a private and the early access and information under NDA or non-disclosure agreement. Let me give you an example. For people that are working with Azure DevOps, for example, now, uh, I remember, you know, if you rem if people working, you remember when before Azure DevOps, there is a Visual Studio team services, right? And there is a new UI for Azure DevOps. When Microsoft announced Azure DevOps, the new name and with the new UI, we worked on that UI before publishing that. I remember, um, can you remember, Dr. Ahmed, uh, uh, how long it was uh, the, the private preview for that part? Um, I believe uh, uh, three, uh, three months or something y like that. Yes, it's yes. something around, uh, maybe even more, you know. Uh, mm. I remember sometimes six months as well. Yes, I, I couldn't remember. Mm. Yeah, but I think it's it's around five months. We mm. we got access to the you know to the first Azure DevOps before before anyone on on you know on the planet, <laughs> which is something great. You know, we started building our experience. We starting you know working on that. This is why you know, for example, once Microsoft announced that, we already have some many things to, to share with the, with the community about that because we're already working with that, you know, for for a long time. Uh, and I, they, they, they even, sorry for interruption, no, no, no. Mohammed, they, they even used to call us uh, the inner circle and they used to give us the privilege of regional meetings somewhere in Europe, for instance, and collect us not only in HQ, but sometimes in Europe. Uh, as inner circle to to have the feedback exactly and this is exactly as dr ahmed say he's you know we they call us the the inner circle or the canary users so we are part of the canary users for you know for our contribution area which is again give us a very high privilege to access a product in the early take decision uh, give a feedback and also share that with the community when when it's publicly uh, you know um, announced um, MVB Global Summit, Microsoft invite us in, in Microsoft HQ in Redmond, Seattle, where we attend, you know, many sessions with, with the team themselves in their office, and which is something really fantastic, you know. You, you speak to the product team, you, you start having the discussion with them and discuss the product, what they are going, and all information, of course, under NDA because it's very, very confidential. Uh, so we have the Visual Studio subscription enterprise. And for people that they don't do that, it means that you have access for all Microsoft license. Every single Microsoft license you, you have with a Visual Studio subscription. Because it's not only Visual Studio, it's Visual Studio and all the other products. Uh, of course, a Visual Studio subscription, as long as, and be careful about that, it is for development, not for production. Um, we got Azure subscription with $150 per month as a part of that. We also can increase the extend the Azure to 1,000 per some use cases if we request for that. Uh, we have Pluralsight training, we have LinkedIn Premium, we have LinkedIn Learning, all of that. You know, we have Camtasia, for example, which is I'm I'm using to record the session. Uh, Snagit, for example. Again, uh, Express UI Control, Express uh, Expert Change Community Membership. Uh, 
uh, ReSharbor and uh, WebStorm, 50% uh, discount for Microsoft exam. We have a GitHub Pro, Octopus deployment, Infragistix UI control, type mock unit testing, red gate tools. And again, there are many, many more benefits of being an MVP. You know, even it's it's a, a huge list of third party benefits and, and many things. So yes, that's it. This is what I wanted to, and I will uh, post back to uh, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you, Muhammad. You 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 made everyone willing to be uh, an MVP uh, today. <laughs> Actually, so uh, I would like to to give you some um, small insights about the uh, history of the 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 the. the, the the the, the 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 program uh, could you see my uh, my screen by the way yeah yeah so it's, it's very clear yeah uh, at first place we need to understand what microsoft mvp program is microsoft uh, as de defined by microsoft mvp it's an award that is given by microsoft to the technology experts who passionately share their knowledge with the community. They are awarded to people who actively share their technical expertise with the different technology communities related directly or indirectly to Microsoft. Uh, the, 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 the word MVP is not uh, genuine. Uh, um, uh, it's uh, usually used uh, tens of years before in the baseball uh, league. So uh, the, the most uh, valuable player in the baseball league uh, got the MVP award. And uh, this actually, um, for Microsoft, it started with this logo back to 1993. Uh, and some of the earliest MVPs were those most active in online uh, peer support communities such as Usenet and CompuServe. Um, uh, Steve Ballmer has spoken to the MVPs at first time uh, uh, during the uh, launch of Windows XP in 1999, in 22nd, on 22nd of October 1929, Microsoft decided to uh, suspend the MVP program but they uh, canceled this uh, um, announcement after three days and uh, reactivated the MVP program due to the, um, uh, what I uh, can call it, the neg negative impact of this decision. So um, uh, Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer decided to uh, reactivate the program again uh, in uh, October uh, 25th. And uh, since then, the uh, program has flourished in a very big way, as Mohammed told you, the numbers. But uh, the most important question now is, uh, what does it take uh, to be an MVP. Some people like to to uh, to tag the MVP award as the Oscar of Microsoft because it's an annual award. So you could be an MVP for a year and then you you you, you don't you don't get it again or we call it renewed again. But you stay MVP and you stay in the MVP alumni of Microsoft and uh, you uh, could be listed on mvp.microsoft.com even if you are not uh, getting renewed on the MVP alumni part. I believe, uh, as far as I remember, this part started in 20. Uh, uh, 20, uh, 2016, I believe. Um, uh, so Microsoft 
uh, deals with good courtesy with people even uh, who are not getting renewed because they believe that they uh, have uh, given something very precious to the Microsoft community. Uh, again, what takes, uh, what does it take to be an MVP? The first thing is not, uh, don't chase to be an MVP. By other means or by other ways, please don't uh, run after being MVP because most of the MVPs have been approached by someone and offer them to get nominated as MVP. This happens with the Kassars, uh, this happens with Radwan, and this happens with my humble self, and this happened with many, many, many hundreds of MVPs, uh, lots of stories. Um, uh, for me, I have been approached by Microsoft in 2005 uh, for some reason. Um, the nomination didn't fail, but uh, it didn't continue because some handovers, uh, incomplete handovers that led to uh, not being able to, uh, to get awarded before 2007. So before that, I wouldn't know about the MVP uh, award or the program. They explained to me that uh, the, the, the program uh, at those days, um, such kind of activities like the one we are practicing now was not so common. Uh, so um, Microsoft has approached me and uh, told me about the program and the award and told me that they believe that I'm MVP before being awarded and I deserve to be nominated. The same happened with Radwan, who has been approached by the product team itself, al Kassas, who has been approached by other MVPs. Uh, that's why at the old days, um, in the old days, uh, there was a, a way to nominate yourself as an MVP, but uh, the program management uh, learned over time that people who nominate themselves uh, on mvp.microsoft.com usually uh, uh, don't succeed in uh, getting the award, so they suspend the, this choice. So nowadays, if you need to be an MVP, uh, Either you get nominated by a Microsoft employee or another uh, MVP. Uh, and again, that's why I advise everybody that if you would like to be MVP, don't keep it as a ringing uh, alarm in, in, inside your head because many people are MVP without being awarded yet, and others uh, are practicing the life of MVPs even after uh, uh, being MVP alumni. I mean, MVP is a way to live, uh, not an award to be chased. This is my personal, uh, first personal advice. Um, um, so um, the second thing that I believe uh, lots of people uh, has uh, misconception about is that uh, it's not true and not right that Microsoft awards every uh, uh, kind of people who goes to give to the community. You could have like two million contributions to the community, but Microsoft also uh, decides that you, you, you are not 
an MVP or you, you, uh, they are not willing to award you as an MVP. Why? Because Microsoft nowadays is searching about the quality and the impact. So before thinking about the community efforts, they, uh, at the first time, when you get awarded for the first time, they try to make sure that uh, the awarded guy is a high caliber uh, expert with high caliber expertise. So to, to be awarded and as MVP at first place, you have to have something very precious from the technical part and you succeeded to make Microsoft uh, feel of your technical excellence on the world class level, then you are willing to share this with community. So if you shared your knowledge with community, but you fail to uh, convince the product team uh, or the engineering team in the HQ that you deserve uh, uh, your uh, expertise level deserves to be chosen as MVP, you will not be awarded as well. Uh, I, I hope that uh, I'm able to make myself clear. If, if, if this point is not clear, please um, um, say it because this is the most important thing. Uh, lots of people send us and say, uh, hey, we, we, we have uh, delivered the hundreds of sessions, we have lots of uh, videos over uh, YouTube, we, but we, un, uh, we fail to be MVP. Why? Because you fail to convince Microsoft with your world-class uh, technical expertise. What are examples of this? Uh, I, I, I don't want to hijack the part of El Casas, but I would like to start with something uh, uh, did by Mohammed El Casas, my fellow, which is he has been um, uh, um, uh, ranked as the best in Stack Overflow worldwide for some time. Thank um, Dr. Ahmed for this valuable information. Hello everyone, I would like to thank you all for attending our discussion panel today. I hope it will be helpful and add value to everyone. Please let me first to introduce myself. My name is Mohamed Al-Qassas, I am Egyptian and I have been living in Saudi Arabia since 2011. I am technical consultant with 12 years of experience in Microsoft technology and Microsoft products like SharePoint, and Project Server and Power BI. I am Microsoft MVP for three years in a row. SharePoint Stack Exchange Operator, C Sharp Corner MVP, Microsoft Technet Wiki Judge. I am also speaker and blogger. I am founder of DevWorks and Debug the Two Community, and I am community leader in Cloud DevOps Visions. Let's go quickly through my professional employment history. I started back in 29 as software developer. I have a wide experience in public and the private sectors. Currently, I am working as lead technical consultant in that store. Regarding my professional records, I have more than 180 professional records. I have participated in more than 60 successful projects and the tools. I got many awards from different communities and employments. I performed more than 40 training sessions and attended spoken events and finally I'm Microsoft certified. Now let's go back to our main topic in our discussion panel today. What is Microsoft MVP? MVP stands for Most Valuable Professional. The Microsoft Most Valuable Professional is an award given by Microsoft to technology experts who passionately share their knowledge with the community. Microsoft says we want to award the best technical community leaders and it considers this as a way of saying thank you to them. Actually, it is kind of appreciation from community to community. Please let me first explain what is the main difference between Microsoft Certificate and Microsoft MVP Award. 
Some people saw that the MVP award is a Microsoft certificate that has specific guidelines and official acceptance criteria for becoming an MVP. Actually, there are big differences between Microsoft certificate and Microsoft MVP award. In the next slide, we will show what is the main difference between Microsoft certificate process and Microsoft MVP award process. Let's start with Microsoft certificate process. If you decide to become Microsoft certified, so you should first specify which area you would like to be certified. After that, you should prepare for the certificate by going to Microsoft Learn and explore the certificate details and check what is the prerequisite of this certificate and how many exams it consists of. After that, you will be on the schedule for the certificate exams. Then you will take the certificate exams and if you pass these exams, you will be Microsoft certified. As you can see, there are clear guidelines and specific criteria to be Microsoft certified. Let's go now to explore Microsoft MVP award process. To be MVP, you should have a good knowledge in Microsoft technology and product. You should share your knowledge with the community. You should help a lot of people and you should love what you do. If you have this characteristic, so you should think to become MVP. Actually, your contribution should make impact on the community and you should be recognized by the community members. This will give you a chance to, be, to get nominated from other MVP in the community or Microsoft MVP. After getting a nomination from other Microsoft MVP or Microsoft MVP, you will receive an email from the Microsoft MVP program to fill your contribution by activities in the last 12 months. Once you have completed the nomination form, the Microsoft MVP program will review your nomination. Sometimes they receive a lot of application and this process can take up to three months. At this time, you should continue sharing your knowledge to the community. And please, don't be panic and never give up. Actually, you did a great work and you just need to believe in yourself and what you have provided to the community. Even you are not selected to be MVP, nobody can take off your contribution from you. Just be proud with what you have provided to help others. And at this time, you just have to wait the result. As you can see in the MVP award process, no exam you can take to be MVP. Actually, there is no official guidelines or specific criteria to be MVP. But if you deserve to be MVP, you will, be M you will become MVP soon. Good luck for all. Again, the key point to be an MVP is helping others by sharing your valuable knowledge in a high quality and unique style to make impact on the community. To be honest, this can be done if you don't love what you do. Loving what you do would help you to continue and the continuous work in the right direction is the secret of achieving the goals and success. So, let's go through the important question now. Where should you share your knowledge? In this slide, we will list the MVP is the most common MVP activities that you should share your knowledge there. Generally, you should have a combination of high quality activities that impact the community like contribution in communities like Stack Exchange, Stack Overflow, Microsoft Forum, or other Q&A communities. This is one of the main activities to become MVP. You should write articles and the blog posts you should create videos, webcasts, podcasts, and course series for free. You should organize events and speaking events and meet up and use a group. You should write a book as author or co-author. You should contribute an open source project. Also, you should provide idea and product feedback. As well as, you should share sample code and scripts on GitHub. And publish tool in Microsoft Marketplaces is you should prepare a technical workshop and monitor other as we are doing now in this discussion panel. Any other contribution you can provide it that help others and provide value to the community, you can add it in the other in the other section. So do you think you should contribute in all activities type? It doesn't matter how many activities should you should you share. 
It is mainly dependent on the quality of activities that you are sharing. Your contribution should be unique and add value and make impact to the community. Your contributions should be distributed in more than one types of activities. Many contributions with high quality and impact would accelerate the acceptance process. So it is kind. It is about quality, not quantity. In this slide, we will answer for answer most of common question about Microsoft MVP award. Actually, you can't nominate yourself for MVP award. You must get nominated from other Microsoft MVPs or Microsoft employees. Your activities must be done within the last 12 months. You can ask for nomination if you think you have great activities in the last 6 months. One nomination from other MVPs or Microsoft employees is enough. After getting a nomination, you will receive an email from the MVP program to fill your contributions per activities in the last 12 months. Once you have completed the nomination form, the Microsoft MVP program will review your nomination. Sometimes they receive a lot of applications and this process can take up to 90 days. Microsoft MVP program announced for new MVPs every month. Microsoft MVP award renewed every year and you get renewed based on your activities in the last 12 months. As I end, the Microsoft MVP award renewal cycle in the 1st of July every year and you can be awarded as Microsoft MVP in two different categories. Here I don't like to answer the traditional question of how to become MVP, but I can tell you how I became Microsoft MVP. Actually I have many contributions in, in different communities like Stack Exchange and Microsoft Technet Wiki and Microsoft Technet Forum and recently debugged the tool. I am honored to be the first top contributor in Middle East and Africa and the second top contributor of all the time in SharePoint Stack Exchange. Also, I have been elected as the first SharePoint Stack Exchange moderator in Middle East and Africa. I have been selected as the first Microsoft Technet Week judge in Saudi Arabia. Also, I am selected as the most awesome Microsoft Technet guru for the past five years. All these activities helped me to be recognized in the community and also I may, and my contribution make positive impact to the community. So I get nominated to be MVP and now I am Microsoft MVP for three years in a row. Beside my contribution in Q&A communities, I am pleased and honored to be one of the community leaders in Cloud DevOps Vision. Cloud DevOps Vision is an open source community that aim to share live session events and mentoring people and open source and study group and jobs. Regarding my blog contribution, I am telling in blogging. I started my blog in 2011. Actually, I, I, am, uh, I write down my article and my blog in DefWorks and C Sharp Corner and Microsoft Technet Wiki and recently in the Bugged too. As you can see, my article has big impact to the community and reach to more people, as you can see. At the end, I would like to share my personal advices to you. Just believe in yourself and be you. Don't stop to help others. Share your valuable knowledge to, with the community. Love what you do to be able to continue. Forget about working toward becoming an MVP. Make a balance between your contribution and family and business work. Don't just concentrate to contribute to be MVP and uh, neglect your family and your business work. Don't be panic and never give up. Even you are not becoming MVP or you became MVP but not renewed, nobody can take your contribution off from you. Just be proud with what you have sharing to the community. As I end, good luck for all. Thank you so much. Sure, keep it, Muhammad. Keep it, please. Keep the, 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 the slides. Yeah. Okay.
Um, Muhammad here, thanks to Muhammad, he is doing a, a brilliant uh, presentation, by the way, uh, uh, that can conclude uh, all needed information. So, Muhammad here is trying to explain the nomination pro uh, process itself. Uh, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, no, uh, you cannot nominate yourself anymore. At the, in the old days, you could do this but uh, you cannot do this anymore. So you need to be nominated from either Microsoft MVP or a Microsoft employee. Then uh, uh, when you get evaluated, you go, go, uh, got evaluated for uh, the activities that you have done for the last 12 months. But at the first time, uh, 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 as I mentioned before, um, the product team is always interested to to have the uh, enough uh, confidence in your technical expertise so i've seen uh, one of the um, questions here uh, 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 from a gentleman here that was uh, talking about that he is already a certified expert this is good and great um, this is a good start to prove uh, your uh, to prove your uh, your uh, technical expertise level. But after that, you have to be a good community giver. So lots of high caliber people are not uh, free enough, or not willing enough, or don't have the capacity to have the good impact over the community. Uh, so you will stay unawarded. So you have to have two conditions uh, to, to have a good opportunity. The first thing is the ability to prove your world-class technical expertise. Second condition is to be a very good Giver in a, a, a high quality uh, community contributions. And what are these community contributions? Those are the types that Mohammed Al Kassas has uh, 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 told us uh, about at the previous uh, uh, slide. Would you please uh, get back to the previous slide, Mohammed? The previous one about the con uh, community contributions kind and or types. Yes, this one, um, you could do this through the uh, tech forums like Microsoft forums, uh, Stack Overflow, or through having very well viewed blog, or uh, through having um, a a very well received uh, YouTube channel uh, speaking at huge events that, ha uh, that have um, very high impact on the community, lead some technical communities, uh, write impactful books, uh, contributing on uh, impactful open source projects, and one of the uh, most important uh, types of contributions is the product feedback. And the product feedback means you uh, give uh, insightful and impactful feedback to the product team or the engineering team or the team who build the tools and technology in Microsoft HQ, uh, the engineering team itself. That's why Radwan has uh, told us about the inner circle and the Canary uh, users uh, and the NDA meetings and also some NDA distribution lists, mail distribution lists, and many other NDA uh, contributions. This kind of contributions or the customer advisory council that I mentioned before, where you could give the product team a very imp 
impactful feedback that helps, uh, that could help them in uh, building a better uh, product. As well as uh, sharing sample code on GitHub, uh, uh, having some products over Microsoft products, uh, Microsoft Marketplace, uh, conducting some workshops. What is very important here is to have this free of charge. I mean free. You, uh, uh, there is a concern about giving this most of the time without being or getting paid for this. Uh, because in this way, you are a world-class expert that has a high level of impact on Microsoft community worldwide, you are willing to, uh, to develop others and change the life, lives of others. This is the main philosophy uh, behind MVP. That's why we are conducting this discussion panel, by the way, because this is part of uh, the thing, is mentoring others and helping others uh, uh, who are already MVPs but are not awarded yet. And uh, uh, I believe that we mentioned this at the beginning. Lots of people are already MVP without uh, getting uh, awarded. So uh, please, Asas, could you um, give us the, the, the next slide again? know that the, the, the one yeah, uh, the, the process the one about the process yes so you can ask for no, no, a nomination um, if you think that you have great activities in the last six months and the nomination cycle takes three uh, months so uh, it takes three months from the final state of your nomination is being submitted tell you know the result of this nomination. So if you got nominated, uh, for instance, let's say in April, you know at the, at the 1st of July, if your nomination has went through successfully or not, how you get a congratulations email telling you that you became an MVP with many NDA uh, details. It takes 90 days. We, we agree with some contributors to share um, to share their uh, you know their presentation. We can start with um, let me remember. I'm sorry. Let me remember the name. Um, so um, it should be Yash Kamadar. Are you here, Kam Yash? Hey, hi, Mohammed. Hello, yeah. Is my voice audible? Yes. Uh, could you just in you know if in few minutes, if you can give us a, a quick introduction about yourself, sh share your screen if you prepare a presentation, and you know why you would like to be an MVP, uh, why you would like to be an MVP, and why you think you 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 know you should be an MVP. I mean, uh, why you you think Microsoft should consider you as an MVP? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me know if my screen is visible, yeah. Mohammed. Yes, that's fine. Yes. OK, so uh, I work as a cloud infrastructure consultant at Rapid Circle and as a Mohimbi consultant for Mohimbi, which is a PDF converter. And we have our app in the uh, app source, Microsoft app source uh, platform. So I'm also an MCP that is a Microsoft certified professional holding, uh, you know, certificate in managing SharePoint Server 2016. Uh, on the right hand side, you can find my handlers for the LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, let me quickly let you know something about my community contributions. Uh, I have just started this year and it's it's just a small step right now. Uh, but yeah, I have spoken in technical conferences like the Global Power Platform Bootcamp. Uh, I have been a part of Microsoft Power Platform Workshop again as a speaker. Uh, recently, I spoke at the Global AI on Tour 2020. Uh, I'm also a part of uh, Hyderabad Power Apps and Power, Use, Power Automate user group, where recently I spoke about converting speech to text. Uh, I have also 
given a session uh, this Tuesday on the light up virtual conference. Uh, so that was backed by USF for generating COVID-19 funds. Uh, so these these are the uh, conferences where I have spoken and I have a couple of more lined up. So for these, uh, you know, for, for speaking in these conferences, I got recognized. So this that was a, a badge that I got from the Global Power Platform Bootcamp uh, back in February. And then uh, I got a certificate of appreciation for the Global AI on Tour event. Other than that, I have been contributing on the SharePoint Stack Exchange. Uh, it's not it's not a very, you know, uh, huge number of points, but yes, I actively try to answer uh, questions. Yeah. So, uh, this is some me uh, one is. Uh, I will mute him. OK, uh, carry on with this. OK. So yeah, I actively try to answer questions on SharePoint Online, SharePoint on premise, mm -hmm. uh, the Power Platform, and you know uh, Azure things. Uh, I am also you know an active blogger on the Power Apps official community blog site. So right now uh, my level is Advocate One, and I have received seven batches up till now. Um, other than that, I run my own Power. Uh, I run my own YouTube channel called Power Podium. So right now I have four videos with 72 subscribers and uh, I get a lot of questions on my personal Gmail address or in the comment section. So I try to answer each of them and help the audience. Um, I run my own WordPress site too. So currently I have approximately 40 blogs uh, and you know uh, here is here is the quant that the stats that I want to share. So uh, I have got close to 3000 hits uh, and um, lot, lots and lots of countries. So um, I, I, I actively blog a lot about the Power Platform and the SharePoint Online uh, platform. Yes, that's great. So yeah. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, really, I really appreciate what you are trying to do for the community. I think it's, it's a great help and I think it's a, it's it's a very good step. I mean, uh, you know, let me tell you bec before you know, like hearing other people also or um, taking the opinion of my fellow MVBs. From my point of view, let me usually tell you some of my insights. For example, I remember, you know, for example, you will feel more happy when when some of the product team, like for example, you contribute to the SharePoint, right? So, mm -hmm. so just imagine that when you share something and then the product team or the SharePoint that they, they ask mm -hmm. your permission to, to, to take your post to, to share with the team, you know. So what I, what I again, I'm trying to tell you is the impact of your, your contribution that, you know, that people, you know, um, from the product team or, you know, from many, uh, I remember, you know, even Dr. Bah he, he knows that, before I awarded mm -hmm. my, my, my first award, everyone, not everyone, but I will, I will say mm -hmm. many of the product team in, in Microsoft HQ, they know about me. They share many blogs of me. They share many of my, my videos about, you know, so yes, try to reach mm -hmm. the, the impact that, you know, and again, I think my, my fellows, they talk about don't, don't persuade, you know, the MVB as an MVB at the end. Mm -hmm. This is usually I say like you know, you 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 are happy about what you're doing. This is exactly what El Kassas said. You are happy about what you are doing, and you're doing that. But the award just come to you know to to say thank you. But you are not working to to get the thank you. You know, so um, and usually you will get awarded from the community before you getting the MVP award, if you understand what I mean which mean that you you will find many people reaching out like for example i have hundred and maybe thousand of message from everywhere you know people from the product team sharing my my post my let me give you an example um microsoft uh they they create a tool for migrating um, uh from on premises tfs to azure devops so the first mm -hmm. day they release the tool i found the bug in the tool and i create a video for how to work with the tool, you know, just imagine that. So I just give that to the mm -hmm. product team and they say, wow, that's really great. And they took the video and they put it on the GitHub of the tool on, uh, you know, and again, the video is still on the GitHub on Microsoft GitHub. 
you know so what i'm telling you is again try to not persuade the the the, the mvp but it's all about how the impact of your contribution uh, for the product team and for the whole community but but really thank mm -hmm. you that was a great and thank you for what you're doing for the community thank you thank you so much mohammed uh, i'll stop the screen share for now yeah. okay yes that's great so do you have any comment uh, dr ahmed or uh, al qasas do you would like to say anything okay so um uh, let's move for uh, the second one hello yes oh, yes yes to to add my input here please yeah sure Kassos. because i am sure going to step it's a chain moderator and the second top contributor of all the time for this community so i would like to share my advice for you actually i really appreciate what you have sharing about your contribution uh, so uh, I think uh, you should continue your awesome effort uh, in the community. This is the best way to be MVP. Don't think to be MVP, think to share your knowledge with the community and help people and you will become MVP. And if you need any help or support about, uh, about uh, asking question or answering question, please contact me and I will help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for your comments, team. I really appreciate all your help and also a big thank you for this session. Thank you. This this is going great. Thank thank you. It's it's our pleasure always to help. Um. Yes. Um. Uh, we can also we have um, another name which is uh, Mandar. Are you here, Mandar? Uh, yes, Mohammed. Hello. Uh, would you like to to share some of your background and uh, have the discussion? Yeah, sure. Yeah, great. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. Yeah, sure. Uh, please let me know once it's visible. Yes, it's it is. Yeah. So my name is Manda, and I am a technical consultant, and I'm based out of Adelaide, South Australia. I am an integration and AI enthusiast and I usually like to work with the Microsoft uh, suite of products. Basically nowadays it's Azure. Uh, I am a TechNet Wiki Ninja and I have uh, done some uh, writing for TechNet Wiki platform as well and I have won few medals uh, in past years in the TechNet Wiki uh, monthly contests. I maintain my personal blog at uh, www.theapodofcode.com wherein I write about generally uh, Logic Apps, uh, Microsoft Bistock. Uh, these days I've started writing about uh, GitHub Actions and how to deploy Azure artifacts uh, using them. So I started that a few months back. Uh, if you are uh, the ways to uh, connect with me, my GitHub handle is Mandar Dikari and I'm also available on LinkedIn. As for uh, my contributions, so I have been a part of MSDN community since 2014 and uh, on MSDN I have around 377 answers and most of them are centered around Microsoft BizTalk Server and Azure Logic Apps. I have written uh, 39 TechNet Wiki articles over the same topics, BizTalk and uh, Logic Apps. Recently I started contributing in Stack Overflow four months back and I have 44 answers to date and they are mainly on Logic Apps and Azure API management product. Uh, in last year, uh, till now I have done uh, 11 public talks. Uh, eight of them are in Azure and span on technologies like Logic Apps, Event Grids, Azure Functions, API management and uh, three of them are on AI. So example would be developing modern intelligent integrations using logic apps and cognitive services then i presented a talk on uh, serverless helmet detection system and those talks have been done on the uh, events like global uh, azure last year global azure virtual this year global AI on tour and other uh, user groups like integration group which is based out of london uk and then integration down under group which is based out of uh, Australian subcontinent. Apart 
from that uh, uh, i started doing my personal blog as well there are not many articles as i mentioned but there are a uh, few articles uh, over there and i'm uh, planning to expand my uh, blog a little bit in next uh, few days and i also plan on creating some technical videos uh, around logic apps and azure api management because i really don't find that much information in video tutorials format on youtube so okay. that's my plan for future yeah that's great <laughs> yes um i think it's it's the same i mean for me it's uh, i really want to thank you so much for for the, your effort uh, toward uh, building more, you know, the knowledge for the community. Again, it's, um, I, I, of course, uh, as the same as Cash, I, I, I looked on post your contribution and uh, uh, I can see that you also create a great step toward, uh, you know, toward uh, your, the community. Um, and I think, again, for me, it's, again, don't, as, as El Kassas and Dr. Ahmed explained, you know, again, it's not about quantitative, it's about qualitative. But at the same time, quantitative, usually, you know, like, yes, I will say, you know, it is the impact that, you, the, again, we are not seeking the MVP. You are, we, we all happy about the MVP award, but we are not seeking, you know, to be like, we are not doing that yeah. so to get the MVP. But, but we all happy about the, getting the MVP. And the, as we explain, you know, there is many benefits of being the MVP. So who who say, yeah. who say who will say, no, it is not good, you know? I get all this benefit. But again, I'm not doing that to be an MVP. Because i doing that because yeah. I really mm -hmm. like that. Uh, I, I have my passion to, you know, for example, as I explained, I, I, I created some tools with with the, with the Microsoft, for example, you know, sharing that on the marketplace. Uh, you know, I, I did that, uh, you know, using the, the tool in the beta version and I I shared some bugs. And again, I, because I have this passion, but when I get awarded, I'm happy yeah. about it. But again, I, I'm not giving that so I can, I will be awarded or, but I will be happy all the time about the award and the benefits. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, I never, honestly, I never thought about uh, MVP award. I just like to write and talk. I mean, that that's how I enjoy it. Yes, exactly. Uh, again, I think it's 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 all about, you know, is this is why I can see it's a great step toward the toward the award. I mean, I, I will I will encourage you to carry on uh, for the for this great contribution you are trying to do build more and try to make more solid contribution uh, again you know try all the time yes because you know you can think there is no types of contribution for example let me give you an example there is some uh, very simple videos or contribution which is for a very uh, you know very beginners and some contribution which is mm -hmm. really like very important for the product team or you know so yeah. you you just need uh, all types of you know, level of contributions that make impact on uh, the the beginner level, because this will give help many people, and also sometimes the contributions that uh, you know has impact on the the product level. Like yes, the product team can say, oh, he he's really knows what you know, because you really solve a problem, or you you found really a a big problem on the pro, or you suggest something really important, and they didn't think about it, you know. So, and this is exactly because at the end, the product team, they will, you know, they will approve that. Yes, your, uh, your, your, you know, your, your ability to, as, as Dr. Ahmed explained, a world class technical. Uh, so, but yes, I, I will encourage you to continue on this great effort. Sure. Um, Thanks, Mohamed. Uh, uh, yeah. um, excuse me, Mander. Um, uh, um, I, I have my own five cents here uh, to add. Sure. Uh, sure, Dr. Um, uh, one of the most important aspects for the product team when they decide, as per all what we are saying, we need to clarify here things. We are not uh, talking by the tongue of Microsoft product team. We are talking by our tongues. Yes. Uh, uh, based on our long experience in this program. So the, let, let, uh, let us make ourselves very clear here. All what we are uh, saying here is not the, pro, uh, the, the truly the prospective of Microsoft team 
but it is coming out of our personal experiences for long times and long uh, uh, lots of years in this program. So uh, one of the most important aspects uh, we believe that the product team think about when they decide to give uh, or to award this award is uh, the uh, sustainability. Are you able to stay sustainable in doing this for long uh, period of time? Are you willing to stay a uh, giver? Because sometimes people got awarded for a year and then they got Okay, I, 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 people who are pursuing being an MVP, sometimes they get uh, calm when they get awarded and never get re-awarded again. So this, this pattern is not very well uh, uh, preferred by the product team. That's why the magic word or the secret word here is sustainability. I believe that you are on the right road, uh, but you have to stay sustainable in this for quite longer time to prove your uh, sustainable abilities in this. Uh, we we uh, actually uh, you, uh, you you sent us yesterday uh, your uh, contributions and we discuss it before this discussion panel as well, I believe that you started at the early beginning of 2019. So this is, it's, it's, you are doing a great job. Please Thank stay you. on. Uh, you on the right road, but please uh, prove your sustainability. And I believe you have a very good opportunity uh, some uh, were in the future. Okay, thank you. Sure. Thanks, Dr. Ba. Thank you. Thank you, Mandar. Kassas, Kassas well, are you willing uh, to yes. something here? Yeah, yeah, Mandar, you are awesome, Mandar. You have great contribution. My advice for you to continue and to believe in yourself and don't stop to help others. Please continue sharing your awesome uh, contribution to the community and never give up and don't be in panic. Some days you will be in BB in Sure. Thanks, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you for the great words. No problem. It's it's our pleasure. I think now uh, the time for question and answer. So feel free to uh, anyone to open the mic and ask questions or. Uh, actually, there was Mohammed Lamiraj who was raising his hand. Yeah. I'm not sure if he is still here or not. Mohammed. Uh, <clears throat> Mohamed Lamraj, that's me. Yes, yes. Uh, you were raising your hand, right? Uh, no, that should be an accident. Sorry. No. no uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Okay, Nakash. Uh, what is the evaluation process for MVP? How does Maxo evaluate? Um, first, first, uh, you, 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 you get an email from the, the, the person who is nominating you, asking you to fill uh, all your contributions, tells about all your uh, technical background uh, in the 12 months and in your uh, career uh, as well, and then we post uh, or submit your nomination and it uh, goes in multi-level uh, nature so it goes to the your uh, CPM community program manager your regional CPM community program manager so if you are in uh, Saudi Arabia or India you usually uh, most probably you have the same CPM if you are in Egypt, North Africa, or uh, West uh, Europe, you have the same CPM. 
so on and so forth. Then uh, your CPM uh, check this nomination and decides if uh, he or she uh, is willing to pass it to the higher level or they are not convinced enough. And uh, everybody is submitting it to the higher level till it reaches the product team. Uh, uh, usually there is a, a, a community uh, uh, program manager inside the product team who finally decide uh, the final day in this. So this process, as Mohammed said before, takes about 90 days minimum uh, and uh, and inside this you may uh, your nomination may stop at the first stage at the second stage at the third stage or it may go uh, go through it uh, successfully and you uh, win the award and get award uh, okay. Is that clear enough? Yes, that is clear. Thank you so much. Uh, there is an important question here uh, that has been posted, I believe. In the discussion? Uh, yes. Um, uh, from Andy uh, Redman. He is uh, posting a very important question which is, can you be awarded an MVP in multiple contribution area in the same category? And the answer is yes. Uh, according to my experience even, I got awarded uh, uh, in some years in two areas, which um, uh, were the uh, visual, uh, the, the developer tools, and the DevOps part, ALM part, as well Microsoft Azure. Currently, I am a Microsoft Azure MVP. For seven years, I got awarded what is called double MVP. You could be awarded double MVP in sometimes. It's not easy, but practically speaking, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, let's. Uh, Kassas, would you like I, to to say something? Because I I can see your hand. Yeah, uh, I would like to share again uh, Microsoft MVP award process that uh, I think it will be helpful about the evaluation uh, process and uh, uh, to mention also what actually should we do. Uh, to become MVP, but uh, if uh, the internet connection is still not working properly, please tell me to stop. No, I I, th okay? I think it's 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 fine now. Yes, share please. Okay, let me share yeah, sure. my screen again. So I have one question here. Is it uh, mandatory to complete all certificate path uh, like beginner, associate, expert to become MEP? I'm sorry, Rokshar. Would you please repeat your uh, question? So uh, uh, my question is that uh, is it mandatory to complete all certificate path like beginner, associate, and expert to become MEP? No, no. No, no, no exam that you can take to be MVP. No official acceptance criteria to be MVP. Actually, we don't know what Microsoft are looking for. We are MVP, and actually, we don't know. That. We don't know actually what Microsoft are looking for. So let me please uh, go through the Microsoft MVP award process again to be clear for all. Uh, if you have a good knowledge in Microsoft technology and Microsoft project and uh, uh, in general open source uh, project, you should share this with the community. After that, you should believe in yourself. You, you, you would like to help people, not to say to you, thank you. 
just to, for helping people. And you should love what you do. You, if you, to be honest, if you don't love what you do, you will not be continue. You will not continue. Continuous is the secret of the success. If you need to achieve goals and achieve success, you should love what you do to continue. So after that, after you have big impact in the community, you will be recognized by the community member and the community MVP in this community. Like, yes, let me ask you, Kassos, let me ask you, how many questions yeah. you answered on Stack Overflow? Let me show you this. Yes, I, I, I just want to share with people also, you know, like, what is the meaning of impact? <laughs> this is, can you see my profile here? Yeah. So let's go to users. Of all the time, I am the second top contributor in this community since uh, 2018. Yeah, so how many questions do you, did you manage to? How many questions? More than one. Uh, thousand, uh, Whoa, that's really, yeah. Answer. This is answer, for, uh, yeah. For this community, this is my impact in the community. More really than two million impressive. people reaching. Yes, two point okay. two point one million, right? Also, I would like to share. Uh, also, I would like to share this statistic to uh, that helped me to be to become MVP. Actually, as I said, there is no exam to be MVP. No uh, official guidelines. Just you believe in yourself and you believe what uh, for what you are sharing and you think only to help others, not to become MVP. Mohammed, ma, uh, sorry this for my personal uh, advice about this. Yeah. Kassas, uh, you, you said that you started this in 2012, right? Yeah, Dr. Ahmed, I joined this community since four years and three months. Four years, it's... Since four years. Yeah, and now I am... Since uh, 2016, you mean? Since 2016? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, Dr. Ahmed, you are our teacher for statistics and for everything, so you, you are correct. Yeah, that, yeah. Thanks. I, I'm just uh, saying this to, 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 to mention something. You are practically, uh, you got your third MVP just this month. So you practically uh, um, spent two years uh, as MVP and this is the your beginning of the third year. And you first, you first you be discovered, were, yes. <laughs> you are approaching the, uh, the fifth year in the community in that huge impact. So this is a very good example about the sustainability and how did Muhammad stayed for years working before someone else nominates him as MVP. Yes, I, uh, this is what uh, I wanted to highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, when I joined this community, I don't think about any award or any, any member. I just uh, believe uh, helping people is very important and I think it is a uh, good feeling to help others and someone reply to you and say thank you, to, you helped me to solve my issue. This is actually make my day to help others. So uh, when I joined uh, to contribute, I actually have a, a blog uh, since 2011. Uh, uh, d uh, net and now change it to d So I don't think to be to get uh, award from uh, Microsoft or any other company. I just have believe helping people is uh, very important and it will make you feel good and you do something else. Even you don't be MVP or you will be MVP, uh, you will be MVP and not renewed. No one can take off your contribution from you. So you should be proud of yourself. You try to do great achievement by helping people. Really, I would like to uh, finalize uh, this point about, about my personal advice. So believe in yourself and just be you. Don't stop, uh, stop to help you others. Share your valuable knowledge with the, com uh, the community. Love what you do to be able to continue. As I told you, if you don't love what you are doing, you will not continue. So the continuous work in the right direction is 
the secret of achieving the goals. Forget about working toward becoming MVP. As I said, I don't say I don't uh, put this in my mind when I sharing my knowledge with uh, a community member. I just try to help. I have uh, knowledge. My God gave me knowledge and experience about this to, uh, about this technology or about this topic. So I would like everyone know what I have. So uh, this is very important advice I should uh, say. Make a balance between your contribution and your family and the business work. Uh, it is long journey. You will not be maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow. You, so you should have balance with your family and the work experience and the business story, business work and your contribution. Don't be panic. Fearing is the enemy of success. So and uh, also never give up. And as I told you, no one can take your contribution off from you. Just be proud of what you have sharing to the community. Thank you so much and work hard in silence and let your success be your norm. Okay. Okay. Frankly, I am the one who is very proud of you, Muhammad. Honestly speaking. Thank you, Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, 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 there was a couple of uh, gents here who who was ra uh, who were uh, uh, raising uh, their hands, but then they removed uh, this uh, hand. I'm not sure if their questions uh, have been answered yeah. or not. I am ready for any question if uh, someone okay. would like to ask a question. So, so we have another question again, uh, second question. If there is anyone who is still uh, uh, have a question, please post it and we are here to answer them. Andy Ratman, again, he posted a second question. He says, uh, can we hear see, uh, or see examples of what the three MVPs did to achieve the status? I believe that El Casas uh, uh, delivered a lot concerning this. Muhammad, in his uh, introduction spoke about this and uh, how did he uh, help the, uh, the, 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 uh, the the community through his uh, community activities as well as uh, the contribution to the product team. If you would like my personal experience over the 14 years, I will give you some glimpse. Um, First of all, I mentioned that I was a member in the uh, Customer Ad Advisory Council. And Customer Advisory Council is uh, concerned with helping the product team informing the feature list of the product itself. So uh, Customer Advisory Council, uh, you cannot join this uh, uh, council without being invited. To, uh, uh, to be member of, and usually uh, it includes only um, the top 10 worldwide in certain uh, speciality. This is one of the examples. Second example is uh, I've delivered sessions in Redmond. Uh, so I got invited by uh, um, uh, um, uh, key prominent people in the product team to speak in Redmond. Uh, third example, I helped uh, the TFS and Visual Studio team system at the very old days, uh, or what we <laughs> uh, call the very old ages, to, uh, to draw up uh, the, the, the process, even the MSF process, uh, one of the versions of MSF uh, process. I worked hard with the product team in that. Um, um, I helped some people to uh, author books because we mentioned that books, um, uh, we, we mentioned that one of the concerns is being not uh, getting paid for the, the activity that are, you are doing. So if you author a book, usually you got paid. 
but if you mentor, uh, uh, you are a mentor for a book author to a book author, you are not getting paid from anybody. You just uh, practice being a mentor for a book author. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I, 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 uh, I didn't get paid for this book. Uh, either from the author or the uh, publisher. Uh, I reviewed some books before being published. Uh, all these kind of things, you are not getting paid for it, and you will not uh, do it unless uh, somebody uh, has the enough confidence in your technical expertise, because product team will not Listen to everybody. They don't have the capacity, they don't have the time, and they don't trust everybody. But when you can uh, post some feedbacks that, that could change version of the product or change a technical decision, this is the impact, uh, or one of the impacts. Uh, or one of the examples of the impacts that Microsoft is looking for. I believe that Radwan and Kassas, has, uh, uh, they spoke uh, 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 about other kind of community contributions. Uh, is this enough, Andy? Mm. Not sure. Hello? I'm not sure if he's... Um... Okay. Uh, it seems that he left already. Yes. Before answering his. Okay. No uh, okay. Um, should we? Should. Uh, somebody is asking about the presentation. Uh, in fact, we will place the video recording of this uh, discussion panel uh, on the YouTube channel. So please uh, stay tight, and you will find the whole. Uh, recording available on YouTube uh, shortly. There's a new message. Yes, please share the video. Okay, sure, we will share the video. Let me uh, uh, take some question from here. How to find the mentor to guide me? Again, this is exactly what we are trying to do in in this community. Is to this workshop is just a mentoring, and we can hold like maybe like every quarter or semester uh, an exactly workshop where we can guide people. You know to do that so um so yes again you know just to join uh, our community and stay uh tuned stay connected and we will make sure to do that uh, some other questions should answer stack overflow be related to microsoft only um no you no yes and again you, if you remember the 11 categories uh, and 95 uh, contribution area just to pick the the area like from from the, the contribution area or under which category and just to contribute that, to that uh, actually there is a category for the open source and this reflects microsoft interest exactly in, uh, open source technology exactly so you could be an mvp for open source category because you are an open source Goro and you support the open source community too much, you got awarded from Microsoft for this while not being supporting Microsoft proprietary technology at all. Oh, another one asking, uh, if you are a Microsoft employee, no, you, you can't be an MVP. Uh, there is many MVPs became Microsoft employees and they have to, to leave the badge of the MVP before they joining Microsoft. Uh, and this is very important because, uh, you know, we're still not a Microsoft employees. And this is why Microsoft appreciate us because we are part of, you know, it's like we are the first line of contact that represent the, the customer of the Microsoft product. This is why they trust us. Uh, another question in the discussion also asking about how to reach the product team, how to reach the attention of the product team. Again, I think it's the impact of your work for, for me my first reaching the product team they reach me <laughs> I'm, I'm not the one that reach them because they start you know getting people sharing uh, my, my posts or my video and then i found that one of the product team is sharing and asking you know for so 
yes it's it just the, the the level of quality and the level of of uh, of depths because again the product team as dr ahmed explained the product team is not they don't have the time to you know to listen for everyone but again they they would like you know like so um can the blog written in wordpress to be considered of course uh, <laughs> anything my, my word my blog on wordpress what is the best way to reach out to the product team we answer this question no there is no exam as we explain question to be an mba how much content and contribution did you for how long um again it's it's different from one to one but again this is usually what i say before you get the mvp award you will get the mvp from the community i mean you will get the impact from the community you will find your work talk about yours about you before you're getting the mvp and this will be a very a very you know a very you know like um a sign that you will get that you are very close to the mvp when you when you hear your work for example you know shared in in many let me give you an example i remember i attend one session and one of the speaker uh it was a a session in in a, in a london devops group and one of the speaker he mentioned one of my uh, videos in his uh, reference where he he study he he prepared his uh, his session so you know what i'm trying to tell you you will just get awarded before the award from the community i i want here to to add uh, 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 something yeah, of course all of our three sum even has fir have first met one another in a kind of community activity <laughs> <laughs> yes maybe this is long time ago but but, but still but this happened. yes exactly hmm? and this is exactly what so leaders yeah. love to make uh, leaders love to make other leaders yes and to build the other leaders because in this way you you make uh, the community stronger you make it more sustainable you uh, you help others to change their lives and those people will help others to change others life and this is the dilemma that uh, we are helping people and people are helping other people and this way things uh, could be sustainable as we said before the secret word behind the whole awarding system here is the sustainability of the impact over the community with a, 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 a qualitative uh, high, or high quality uh, contribution exactly so any more questions so there is another uh, question here from i believe uh, there is an important question here uh, asking about how could he be uh, uh, monitored uh, uh, we are here to do yes. this so exactly. we could do this on by by uh, by quarter base or every semester we could repeat the same exercise today we have discussed the contribution of three uh, uh, persons we could do this again after six months and receive others uh, and uh, discuss their contribution and um, and things could go, go in this way that's why the cloud and devops uh, visions community is there to help others in different aspects including being mvps definitely so any more questions okay um okay so i think from my side uh, dr rahmad or kassas would you like to do you have any i believe that that, that, that the, the, the best thing that has been said in this discussion panel was the, uh, the ending of Muhammad al-Qassas, which is believe in yourself, 
believe in giving to the community and don't uh, make anybody uh, stop uh, don't make anybody stops you from uh, chasing your dreams and pursuing your success thanks to Muhammad al kassas for saying this yeah thank you everyone <laughs> that was great thank you doctor thank you very much uh, we wish uh, 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 to repeat this uh, again and we hope that uh, it, it was fruitful uh, uh, discussion panel uh, to everybody please uh, uh, stay alerted for the upcoming uh, events from cloud uh, and devops uh, visions uh, the um, the uh, sessions as well as we will have a very big uh, announcement uh, soon so please stay tight uh, and we are uh, cooking something that we believe will be helpful to everybody all over this world uh, uh, so please uh, stay awaiting and uh, thank you for attending thank you for your time uh, wishing you fruitful uh, journey uh, in your career thank you everybody thank you my uh, friends and fellows Muhammad Radwan and Muhammad Kassas for that time Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, everyone, Thank you. for attending this. Bye-bye.